Hello, we're going to show you how to upgrade a PlayStation 4 hard drive. First thing you're going to need is a controller. Secondly, you're going to need the wire for the controller that came in the box, which is a USB cable. Then you're going to need a SD, not USB, but a USB card and a Phillips screwdriver. And finally, you're going to need a hard drive. I'll have the type of hard drive and everything in the description of what you'll need, but I'm upgrading it to a 2 terabyte. Now, first off, we're going to have to download the installer, not the updater, but the installer. Now, this is confusing. Basically, the installer is a smaller file type, the updater is a non-updater, but the installer is a bigger file type. There should be two download links. Now, as you can see here, I'm scrolling around, now download the file I'm downloading, which is the installer. Then you're going to go to your computer and create a USB file labeled PS4, and inside that folder, create a folder labeled UPDATE, in all caps. Then go to wherever you downloaded your file, and drag and drop it into the UPDATES file. Now, as you can see here, we have the hard drive, the PlayStation 4, and of course my Phillips head screwdriver. Now I'm going to remove the cup faceplate, and flip it around. Now, as you can see here, there's a screw. I'm going to undo that, just like I did when I upgraded my PS3's hard drive. And there we go. We're going to remove the cover. Slide that junk out. And there we go. You can see here, we got four screws, two on each side. So we're going to remove the screws. Removing the screws. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna open up the hard drive plastic sleeve and open that sh shigs up. And then we're gonna take the old hard drive out and I'm going to place that down on the mattress here. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to take the hard drive out of the plastic sleeve, but take into account I'm going to slip the old hard drive into the sleeve for safekeeping as I plan on using that at a later date for something else. Now, I'm going to slip the new hard drive into the s metal slide, as I'm going to call it, and insert the four screws back into it. Now that I've got that all done and said with... Well, I'm on the last screw here, doing that up. Okay, now that i got that done, slide that hard drive back in. Just shove it in there. Now we're going to put the uh, PlayStation safety screw back in, which locks the hard drive back in place. Using... okay, I dropped it there. Using the Phillips screwdriver that I had had from earlier. Now we're going to put the faceplate back on to uh, conceal the hard drive's opening. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble here, so I'm going to stand up to get a little bit of extra... Power. Okay, I'm checking to make sure it's secure and we're good to go. Now I'm going to pop the USB that I put the file on. Insert that and power up the system and make sure you hear two beeps. If you've done it incorrectly, you should more or less see what I see on the screen here in a second. Basically, it'll say that there was a trouble booting up the system and you'll just end up with an infinite boot cycle which will never actually start up. So basically, I'm going to have to restart the console and wait until I hear two beeps. Now that I've heard the two beeps, you should see this screen. On this screen, scroll down until you see the initialize PlayStation 4. Click on that and you should see this screen. Installing, update, then the in actual installing update, blah blah blah. And once you're done, your PS4 should be golden and up and working. Once you see it, you should see there's the 2 terabyte hard drive I just popped in and we're golden. Looks good from here. Now, if you like this video, feel free to take a look at my PS3 how to upgrade video. Or if you just want to hear my sensual voice, you can take a look at my next upcoming video on the 26th, which is me ranting about, well not so much ranting, but talking about who would win in a fight between either Batman or Superman. You might be surprised as to who I think wins. Or not, really, if you know your comic book stuff. Who knows? Until next time, this is Timothy, signing off.